Official order of finish now for the fifth race as we await the, the arrival of Huey Bell. Hugh Bell now has uh, won the featured fifth three consecutive weeks. Failed to show up the first week, but he was here last week and here again this week, and uh, he is uh, pretty well mud splattered, as you can see, despite those mud guards. And you will be up here in just a couple of minutes now to tell us about that race. He got away on top and just kept winging, it seemed. <laughs> You can see him grinning and probably telling Mike Putterman there from Yonkers Raceway that he's going to make a pretty picture here in the Empire Terrace Room <laughs> getting into the Yonkers Raceway station wagon. Now, come on in, Huey. <laughs> You're perfectly welcome, despite the mud all over your clothes. <laughs> he's wearing oilskins, of course, with slickers over his pants as well as over his uh, silks. And he'll be up here in just a couple of minutes. But here's the order of finish, though, for that uh, fifth race. Kenny J, number seven, was the winner, driven by Hugh Bell. As Hugh Bell's 33rd win during the course of the summer meeting and he is the leading driver during the course of the summer meeting and for the spring and summer meeting combined as well and for Kenny J only his third victory in 22 stars this year but he's won better than $11,000 now. Finishing second in the race was number one King Rhythm driven by Sasha Werner. Finishing third in the race was number four Edward Averill with Jim Dennis in the selkie and Evans Jets number five was fourth driven by Ben White Cote and the time for the mile was 206 two-fifths, 206 and two-fifths. The reason I'm grinning is I mentioned of Benoit Cote's name. He's out of Canada, a French-Canadian. And you may recall that a year ago, he was the winning driver for one of these fifth races on TV. And uh, he came up to analyze the fifth race. And as he was brought into this TV area right around me, Mike, who brings the fellow up here, the winning driver up, whispered to me or called out to me. He said, he doesn't speak English. He only speaks French. <laughs> I finally made it known after Benoit Cote came into this area that he might narrate or analyze the feature fifth race in French, which he finally did. However, you, he speaks a pretty fair English, and <laughs> we'll hear his analysis in, in just a few minutes. As the driver changed for the sixth, which I haven't gotten just yet, but Lou O'Neill, before he introduces the horses for the sixth race, will give it to you. I heard it announced over the PA in the background for a a moment or two, but I couldn't quite make out the name because I was talking to you. So we'll pass that along to you in just a few minutes as soon as Lou has the opportunity to bring you up to date on that. Meanwhile, we started to tell you earlier about those two big free-for-all races scheduled between now and the end of the meeting here at Yonkers Raceway. One is Saturday night. This is coming Saturday night here at Yonkers Raceway when the free-for-all places of the country go for a purse of $25,000. They include Merry Gesture going from the rail, Right Time from the number two post, Tarboy from the number three post, at Matt from Australia from the number four post position and Falstep from the number five post. Falstep making a return after being out about six weeks. Falstep from New Zealand. And Mr. Budlong from the number six post position and from the number seven post, O'Brien Hanover, the recent world record setter for a mile and a quarter and holder of the season's mark here at Yonkers Raceway for the mile of 159 and two fifths. Here's Huey Bell now and most of the crowd here in the Empire Terrace Room is staring at him and uh, as he tries to get some of the mud from his uniform and uh, you can hear some of the applause in the background as well. Hello, Huey. <laughs> Let's get a good one. I guess you are kind of muddy. Huey, congratulations. Let's get a good close-up of Huey and see how much of that mud is there. Oh, there's quite a bit. <laughs> how tough is it driving in the mud, Huey? Well, it's bad. You, you can't hardly see where you're going a lot of times. And uh, there's so much mud to fly. You know, your glasses gets all over the mud. And sometimes you got to pull them down so you can see, and then your eyes get full, then you are whipped. Well, Huey, what happens to the horse? Uh, ho uh, the mud must be kicked in the horse's eyes. And the same thing happens to him it does to us. And I know a lot of horses in behind don't try. And uh, they get so much mud in their eyes and face, they just they just won't go up and get it. That's where the trouble is. Huey, uh, you went out of there in a big hurry with Kenny J. Is he one of those horses that likes to race in front? Yeah, he's a front runner, yeah, completely. That's the uh, only way you race good. Well, let's take a look now at that uh, fifth race which you just run for the third consecutive week, by the way, that you've won the fifth here on TV. Nice, Huey. Nice going. Yeah. What are you going to do with all that beer and all those cigarettes? <laughs> well, I'm good away with it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're going from the seventh post with Kenny J. Watch the way you get away now, Huey. Yeah, he's a very fast lever. And, uh... You've got to beat Jim Dennis's horse out, Edgewood April. Yeah, there's, uh... Between them. And Satchel's horses comes in behind him there. Satchel won a king yeah. with him. Now, he races better uh, in front, and now when he gets in front that way, he doesn't pull. Uh, he'll ease back a little bit, and 
although he's got a good hold of me all the way tonight because he wasn't extended no time. You say he doesn't pull. What do you mean by that? Well, uh, pull on the lines to go fast. Now, going away, he'll take a real stiff hold of you going out of there. And But after he gets in front of all the horses, then he'll ease, ease himself up. But he'll hang on to it until he gets by all of them, if he can. You see the skip a little bit going into that turn, didn't they? Well, yeah, but uh, the mud kind of makes them do that. How heavy is it out there tonight, Huey? Well, it's, it's pretty slow. I'd, I'd say that track's uh, four or five seconds slow. Well, you went the mile in 2.6, and of course, he's gone the mile in 2.2. Two. Yeah, it, it's at least four seconds slow anyway. Well, what about the pace to the half? How do you feel about it now? Well, I, I've uh, never was any time when I was uh, driving him that uh, I felt that uh, he had gone to his limit, that is, for speed. And he's a pretty good horse uh, for endurance, too, if they don't crowd him all the way. Now, if a horse crowds him all the way, why, he'll do all he can do too quick. But when he's in front that way, he won't he won't try too awful hard. As long as he's got racing room, he's quite con content yeah, to stay the yes, way he's sir. going. And you feel pretty strongly right here that yeah. he's got the race pretty well in hand. Yes, yeah, sir, I do. Uh, who's uh, the trainer of this horse? Uh, 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 Mr. Nelson, uh, uh, Paul Nelson's boy. The, his uh, name is, uh, I don't know what his name is. L. Nelson. Larry? Larry, I guess they call him, yeah. But the old gentleman owns him, and uh, the boy trains him, and racing part of the time and when he brings him into new york here where well, i generally race him for him you're not concerned about satcher at all now you're looking back no. i see satcher winner with king rhythm the number one horse and you're easily the winner yeah <laughs> you like that eh? yeah well it's nice to win one when you win easy like that you uh you mentioned that uh, larry nelson trains the horse how often do you get to work the horse during the week uh, do you at all? He, I don't work him. He works him here. Yes, I see. Uh, but when when the horse came here without Larry, then I'd trained him all the time while he was in here. And then uh, you would get behind the horse early in the evening uh, for the first warm-up, I, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. And get and, the feel of him. And warm him up and and go on racing me up. Any other races tonight, Huey? For? Yeah, I got one in the eighth race. Well, I, between now and then, you can wash up just a bit. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Huey again. Out in the door for the time. Thank you very much. This represents the supply of Schaefer beer. Yeah, well. And uh, you're getting that brew each week, aren't you? Yeah, oh, yes. Oh, well, I didn't get my last one. I need another one. Well, we'll have to take care of that yeah. first thing tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jimmy, this represents that. Thank you very much. And uh, come back and see us again. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll try it. I'll Huey try Bell. to get back. Champion driver last year, leading driver this year, the wonderful Huey Bell. Even his hands are muddy. A wonderful gentleman. Well, now a word about the cigarette that suits.